Hi everyone, this is Fibro Herbs with FibroSavings.com and um, today I was just uh, kind of updating you on what I found out regarding the Brexit situation and to kind of, I guess, get something off my chest, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't necessarily call it a rant, but um, maybe a little tip uh, uh, or couponing etiquette, if you will. Um, but um, I have been looking all over my city for that weight loss supplement. It was something that I was definitely interested in because I did the research and looked up the ingredients ahead of time and um, realized that it was a natural supplement and it would probably go well with the medications and um, the conditions that I have so I felt like that it wouldn't uh, interfere with anything and um, I wanted to get at least a six month supply at least you know if it was possible well um, I was told by a manager at Walgreens the what when I go Monday when I went to try to find some went to three different ones all gone uh, she told me to check back Wednesday afternoon or Thursday morning uh, because they were supposed to get a truck in and um, then uh, you know likely they'll have some perhaps then so I checked back this morning of course no Abrexin and um, I talked to a different manager there and she was saying that there was someone that came in I think Sunday it was 10 on the shelf they cleared the shelf they left one she said the lady bragged about leaving one um, it's the lady that's in my area that teaches couponing classes and um, she said that uh, the, um, because I don't know if well anyway the way she said it was once the system figures out that those are gone then it will automatically generate um, some more to be sent on the truck um, I think Walgreens is really pulling out legs here because I've mentioned before even uh, with CVS um, that when they put those items on sale they know people are going to get the items that's on sale especially if it's paying back rewards and I believe they deliberately do not um, order anymore or they if whatever's on the shelf that's what they'll sell as you can see with the controversy that's going on with the Celadron company suing them uh, that's kind of what it looks like they'll sell what's on the shelf and then some of these people are turning in more registered rewards than what's been sold so um, I don't know if a Brexit when they found out about this situation they decided not to cooperate with them because that's what it seems like it because they substituted a product and they never substitute a product I, I, all the times I've gone in there and they have um, you know ran out of something that was with register rewards they've never substituted a product that in my area they haven't and so this is the first time I've ever heard of them substituting a product and it's a product I don't even want they probably substituted it just you know to save face with their customers but here's my thing um, I was kind of upset with you know when the manager told me this particular person went in and just took everything and she's going to all of the different um, stores in the area and she does this just clears the shelves and um, it kind of brought to my I was it kind of brought to mind a video that I saw the other day where this person is trying to um, get over I think 50,000 uh, free stuff in a year or something like that and she had bought something to add to that total it wasn't something that she needed but she just bought it because it was free and she wanted to reach her goal or whatever and to me I mean it's getting to the point where people are um, are um, using couponing as a sport versus using it to really help 
yourself and your family um, and this is probably why a lot of these stores are really getting upset with us with the couponers in general um, because we you know some people are not using it they're abusing the system is what I'm saying so my tip is if you really you know want to be a respected couponer and you don't want don't want companies or employees of different stores talking about you behind your back you know because they gonna talk about you when you leave the store with a hundred Tylenols and you don't really need a hundred Tylenols you know what I'm saying uh, because I mean it's really not necessary to do that uh, everybody sees my when you watch my videos you see my hauls you don't see like um, a floor from the floor to the ceiling of different items just because you can get it for free or just because you know it's producing a register reward I, I have these small mini hauls and I'm telling you right now I do not have room for all the stuff that I've gotten over the last few months I haven't been doing this type of couponing except for I started in June but I didn't really start stockpiling until about August of last year so from August up until now I have a one closet and a laundry room full of stuff and I still don't have space and if it wasn't for me getting these containers and and dividing stuff off I would not have space for all this stuff so it's really not necessary to clear the shelf or go buy 20 of one product just because it's producing a register reward or you get so much stuff you end up having to give it all away um, just to get it out of your house you know coupon with a purpose is all I'm saying you know and 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 that way it'll make it easier for all of us when we go into the stores because that's probably this is the same store that I was talking about that I felt like I was pegged when I walked in the in the door and so when I was talking to this manager you know I was like I said you all see me coming here all the time and I said I use my coupons and y'all know that I will roll my rewards if it's something that I really really need it you know and I may get you know more than two or three or four you know um, but I said I all I don't ever come in here and just wipe the whole shelf out and I don't go to 10 different Walgreens and clear the shelves there either I said I will leave something for somebody else and I said I you know I said really I, I even told the manager I said you all need to petition to your company to go ahead and put limits on the the items at Walgreens just like they do at uh, CVS and Rite Aid I said because at least I can go to those stores and have a chance of getting something uh, but when you don't put any limits on it then you have one or two people come in there and just take everything and then Walgreens doesn't uh, replenish the stock and so that's just one 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 aspect of it another aspect of it she didn't know that I actually have a friend that works at one of the other Walgreens and uh, she does the ordering you know so when I used to work with years ago you know she does the ordering for her store and whenever I go in there and there the shelf is cleared then um, she says well you know I'm putting what is it she says because I'm putting in an order and it should be in by Friday or Saturday or whatever and so she actually is supposed to order out some more of the Abrexan and hold a couple of them for me and so you know the question is does Walgreens automatically ship the stuff or is it poor management in the store that's not um, ordering properly or is the company deliberately not sending or not uh, having enough stock of these items that are free or that's producing large register rewards you know to me is it deliberate is it poor management just what's going on that's what I don't understand with um, Walgreens um, normally I don't get on a, a, a tangent about this but I really this is the one product I really 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 wanted and 
it was gone the first day and it doesn't look like we're gonna see that product the rest of this week so I'm, I'm very tempted to uh, call the manufacturer or call the company and see if I can work out a deal and, and get the same thing for the same price uh, that uh, Walgreens was going to sell it for. You know, because to me it just doesn't, I, I don't know. Or I might call Walgreens find out what's going on. <laughs> Are y'all deliberately doing this or what? <laughs> you know, I don't know. In light of that uh, Seladrin situation, it does sound like it's a deliberate act, but who knows. So just, uh, okay, enough uh, fussing, as I say. <laughs> uh, as my mom said, quit fussing. Anyway, that's just what I wanted to kind of let you know. Uh, if you've talked to any of your managers at your Walgreens or any of the other drugstores, uh, what have they told you about, um, what answers have they given you when they, when you go in there the next day and they don't have something that they have in their own sale paper in stock that's that's my question I would, I would like to see if if all the lies are adding up so until then I look forward to hearing from you com hearing your comments or seeing your comments um, so until then bye for now <laughs>